Have you ever pondered over the question of owning a house versus renting one? It's a conundrum that many of us have faced, and it's a decision that requires careful consideration. The choice between owning a home and renting is not black and white. It's a spectrum influenced by a variety of factors. For some, the security and stability of owning a home is paramount. It's a place to call your own, a tangible asset that can appreciate over time. For others, the flexibility and freedom of renting are more appealing. There's less commitment and it allows for more mobility. Financial stability, income, lifestyle preferences and future plans all play a role in this decision. It's about weighing the pros and cons of each option and evaluating how they align with your personal circumstances and long-term goals. In the end, the decision boils down to what suits your personal circumstances and long-term goals. Now let's delve into the benefits of owning a house. Owning a house is more than just having a roof over your head, it's about the sense of stability and permanence it brings. There's a certain comfort in knowing that your house is truly yours, a place you can call home, but the benefits go beyond emotional aspects. Financially, home ownership allows you to build equity over time. As you pay off your mortgage, you gradually increase your ownership stake in the property. In fact, a recent survey found that over 70% of homeowners feel more financially secure due to owning a house. Additionally, home ownership provides you with the freedom to customize your house to your heart's content. Want to paint your walls purple or build a treehouse in the backyard? Go right ahead, it's your house, your rules. Owning a house can indeed be empowering, but it's not without its drawbacks. Owning a house isn't all rosy. There are several drawbacks to consider. One of the most glaring is the high upfront costs. Buying a house often requires a sizable down payment, not to mention the closing costs, appraisal fees and other hidden charges. Then there's the mortgage, which locks you into a long-term financial commitment. Maintenance is another significant drawback. When you own a house, you're responsible for all repairs and upkeep, from mowing the lawn to fixing the roof. According to a report by Home Advisor, the average homeowner spends around 1-4% to of their home's value on maintenance each year. Lastly, owning a house limits your flexibility. You can't just pack up and move if you get a job offer across the country or simply want a change of scenery. Selling a house can take time and there's no guarantee you'll get back what you put into it. Owning a house can sometimes feel like a burden. So, what about renting? Renting can be a viable option for many. Let's explore why. Renting a home can come with a host of benefits. Upfront costs are typically lower than buying a house. There's no hefty down payment, just a security deposit and maybe the first month's rent. You're not responsible for maintenance or repairs. Those are on the landlord's dime. Renting also offers flexibility. You can pick up and move without the hassle of selling a house. But renting isn't all sunshine and rainbows. One major drawback is that you're not building equity. Your monthly rent goes into the landlord's pocket, not towards owning a piece of property. Restrictions can be another downside. Want to paint the walls or get a pet? You'll need your landlord's approval. And while we're on the subject, the average cost of renting in major cities is skyrocketing, putting a strain on many budgets. So, renting offers flexibility, but at the cost of not building any equity. So, owning or renting, which is the better option? We've navigated the seas of home ownership and renting, seen their benefits and drawbacks, and now it's time to weigh our options. Owning a house offers stability, freedom to customize, and potential financial growth. Yet it's a commitment that comes with maintenance responsibilities and financial risks. On the other side of the coin, renting provides flexibility and fewer responsibilities, but it may offer less control and no equity growth. The choice between these two is not black and white, but rather a spectrum of greys. It's a decision that should be made based on your individual circumstances, financial situation, lifestyle preferences and long-term goals. Are you looking for stability and a place to truly call your own? Or do you value flexibility and the freedom from maintenance worries? Whether you choose to own or rent, make sure it's a decision that aligns with your life's goals and aspirations.